I've seen um, this week people are taking the lyrics of Defying Gravity and really holding space with that and feeling power in that. Uh, I didn't know that that was happening. Mm. I've seen it, yeah. That's yeah. really powerful. Mm -hmm. That's what I wanted. I've seen it on a couple posts. I don't know how widespread, but you know, I am in queer media, so yeah. that's my, that's you really know. cool. And it's kind of just like this. It's just, <laughs> just we're just gonna we're hold, just gonna pink. hold pink. We're gonna hold pink. <laughs> this hold interview space. with the stars of Wicked is blowing up on social media, but did you know the concept of holding space is actually a real thing? Yeah, it comes after holding the pinky. <laughs> right. Today, we're learning exactly what it means with Dr. Katie Stewart. <sighs> and I love, <laughs> And we just First have to all, take a moment because they, what, they, <sighs> there's so much social awkwardness that's happening there in is. there. But but there is like a good meeting behind Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And you can tell their bond together and that Ariana grabs her at a time where she obviously knows that that's a trigger. Right. You know, what, <laughs> yeah. what the interviewer is saying. But I think that it is opening an important, very funny conversation that's happening when it comes to holding space. Now, if someone's never heard that term, what would you say? Right. I would tell them it is creating a compassionate safe environment for someone to be seen and heard without any kind of judgment or criticism and also just being with that without any movement away from whatever is coming up. Not just grabbing a pinky. Okay, I get that. <laughs> grabbing a pinky. I, I, and I'm just trying to figure out what that means in terms of wicked. Like people are holding space for the lyrics song of defying gravity. So are we all sitting around? What does that look like when we hold space? Are we actually sitting? Are so, we? Oh, so that's actually a great question. <laughs> We're not just grabbing pinkies. I'm still obsessed with that. But I think it is, it's a sitting, it's a being versus mm -hmm. a doing. Our culture is so used to moving on, right? Yeah. Moving away from. This is saying, no, we can just be with this mm -hmm. and really experience it instead of jumping to, well, where'd you get that idea? How, right, how'd right. you come up with that? Absolutely. And the lyrics to Defying Gravity, I know this is gonna sound so cheesy. I, I hear you making fun of me in your head, <laughs> but I feel as though we have all sung the lyrics, especially that song, mm -hmm. a million times at the top of our lungs in the car uh -huh. and never really held space for what the lyrics mean. So Al what does it mean to you? So Alphabot in Wicked obviously is being told to fit this mold right. and go to Shiz and you know follow the wizard and everything that he does. And she's like, I'm done. I'm be done being told what to do. I know my powers. I know I'm bigger than all this, so I'm gonna fly. Right, and I mean, interesting to note, it's all women talking about this, yeah. right? We are the ones who feel like we've been shoved into a box. Oh my God, I can remember, I was 25 years old. My mom was yelling at me for being, not yelling, she was giving Parenting. me the motion, you know, about being too loud at a tailgate. And I turned to her and I said, I have been in the box you put me in for 25 years. I just came out, I'm not going back in. Yes, yeah. Alpha Ball. You know, yeah. she's wearing her green. <laughs> too loud, too quiet, too this, yeah. too that. Too much. And so, yeah. So how do we just be? Mm -hmm. And I think it's really important to note that this is a great thing moving into the holiday season, right? That we can just hold space. We don't have to fix anybody's problems as we're sitting around the table together. We just need to be with each other. Is this something that we need to verbally announce before we do? I'm ju I just wanna make sure I'm checking all the boxes so it's if not- If you sit a, down uh, and you say, listen, listen, you're all what? I'm gonna hold space for anything you guys I say. I mean, it's become <laughs> such a big deal that it feels like it, but I think that, sorry, Heather, that actually takes away from it, right? Yeah, right. It's just anything that you can do to show we're okay. I can be with whatever is coming up right now. Yeah. So maybe instead of saying, I'm holding space for you, it could be, hey, it seems like you've had a really tough year. You know, how are you holding up? Yeah. What's going and on? And allowing somebody to actually be mm -hmm. with I love that. It feels like undivided attention. The only reason That's I it. bring this up is because in our text message chain all weekend long leading up to this, there was a lot of, I'm holding space for this. I'm holding <laughs> space for that. It, be, it almost felt like that very demure, very mindful. Yes, yes, like, it yes. feels like we're, it's like one of those overused phrases, but we're not really digging into right. what it is and why we should be doing it. And we it. really should. It is yeah. so important, especially we know people feel isolated. People feel not heard. You know, it, this is gonna sound really sexist, but it's completely anecdotal. What I see in my office is women complain that when they talk about something, men wanna fix it. Right. Men complain that something's going on and women want to talk about it. 
This yeah. is the perfect solution to both of those things. Just be with whatever is there. Absolutely. Ooh. Slow down and enjoy it. I think that's advice that we could all mm -hmm. take. Thank you so much, Dr. Katie Stewart. We're holding space for this better. thought. Yes, it's so much space. So if you're interested in. in booking a session with Dr. Katie, I just need your pinky, thank you. Uh, we're gonna have more information on our website, katiekade.com slash I feel like I can't move the rest of my hand while we do this. You